Welcome back everyone. So the Alzheimer's epidemic continues to cast a shadow over the lives of millions of people. With no effective treatment currently available, this disease often makes people feel hopeless. But researchers believe they are closer than ever to finding effective treatments. We're deteriorating. I mean, we're on a, on a downhill slide. John Struckoff has watched his wife of 50 years fade away. There's been very little help for patients like Lynn until now. There have been several new drugs recently approved by the Food and Drug Administration for treating Alzheimer's disease. What these do is to attack the amyloid deposits that occur in the brains of these people and reduce them and slow the decline, but they don't reverse the disease. Potter says a team at the University of Colorado found the drug called GMCSF, already approved for rheumatoid arthritis, and it actually reversed Alzheimer's. Not only do they get cognitively better, but the blood biomarkers of brain damage that are used to test drugs for Alzheimer's disease all improved. And their newest study focuses on finding drugs that block the effects of a protein known as APOE4, a protein that significantly increases the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Two commonly used psychiatric drugs, amiframine and olanzapine, had a significant impact by blocking the ability of APOE4 to promote amyloid formation. It isn't just that they declined more slowly, they actually got better. Possibly opening the door for new, more personalized care. I mean, if you or a family member is dealing with Alzheimer's disease, that is a huge breakthrough. So make sure you're talking to your doctor about what is out there. Maybe you can even get in a clinical trial to have access to this drug. Now, the next step in the research is to find out how age and gender contribute to Alzheimer's disease in hopes to develop drugs that can reverse those underlying problems.